Hello, this is Kachina Photography with my retouching, the lovely retouch. I want to talk to you about the liquefying filter. It is a very useful tool, so will be a simple and quick little tutorial. Um, this tool can be used to manipulate either the full body or just little features. Seeing how I apply the ideology of minimalism to my editing, I don't really use it for that much. I don't want to make that drastic of differences. I use the bloat tool, or the bloat tool, and the fuck tool, which are the tools of the liquify filter. <laughs> I use them on both of these. Particularly, the bloat tool is one of my favorites. And I use it on this hair. And I almost always use it on the lips of models because all, all women love that sort of slightly pouty, full look to their lips. Almost all women. I haven't had a complaint yet, so I'm pretty sure I'm doing alright. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much what I use it for. Or I go to make the eyes just a tinsy bit smaller and that kind of gives like a sultry look to it or if I catch the model at a bad slightly bad angle where something is out of proportion and I still want to use the photo because everything else is perfect then I just go in with this tool and manipulate the face just a little bit so that, the, that she doesn't look com completely awful in it because I, I always want my models to feel like they look gorgeous in their photos so um, one of my key tips is to rectangle marquee your area that you want to work in before you do this and then go to filter and liquify and it'll zoom in on what you selected which makes it really really so much easier to, to work with instead of trying to work on a really tiny face and hair and this is the bloat tool and this is what it does it makes things bigger like bloating so I'm just gonna Come in and blow her hair a little bit. Give a bit of it. And then I'm going to small, make the brush a little bit smaller. Give her lips a little bit of fullness. We come on with the, the pucker tool. that looks a little odd and if you do it wrong that's fine you know it's really there's a really fine line between too much and too little with this I tend to go over quite often and have to restart I think that looks better so they just hit restore all and if you just do one keystroke or one brush stroke too much just hit control Z and it'll take that as long as it only take your last brush stroke your single one yeah, you know, it won't take back like if you did a whole bunch and you didn't like it. You'll have to restore all, but um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's very helpful. You can use it for lots of things. You know, I highly recommend getting friendly with it. <laughs> I hope this is helpful. Please feel free to comment and or message me with any questions or any requests. I I'm more than happy to share what I know. Have a good day.